So we're going to take an opportunity to answer some questions from the forums. And we've got quite a wide range of questions uh, that have to do with you know, how we've run the team, how we've run the business, as well as how we've built the game and various technical questions about our technology. Yes, once our Kickstarter campaign has completed, we would like to provide many of the pledge tiers on our main website. We probably won't provide all of them. And the ones we do provide will actually be at an increased price. So that way, people who pledge our kick Kickstarter will be rewarded. But we do believe it's important that there are, you know, to provide people with the option to pledge to us even afterwards. So we will be making many of the reward tiers available. So there are quite a few ones. It's a bit cliche to talk about Star Wars, but it's one of the main inspirations. Uh, also, I am a personal fan of uh, Isaac Asimov on the Foundation theory, which is one of my favorite uh, books. And also in TV series, I would say Battlestar Galactica. It's a very, very good TV, uh, TV show. And I really like all the battles, uh, the way they are uh, doing some semi-realistic Newtonian uh, combat uh, with all the little uh, starfighters, you know, fighting at, it, at each other. You can see all the thrusters uh, fire on the ships, and I think it's very well done. And it's kind of the kind of combat we will try to recreate with the uh, Infinity Battlescape. We're looking at a one and a half to two year development cycle. Uh, we hope to move to alpha testing, you know, relatively quick. The idea is kind of rapid iteration, collecting a lot of feedback from the people who will be involved in the alpha and beta testing. And, um, you know, we're looking to hopefully get it out within one and a half years at most too. We don't know exactly yet. Uh, we will expect that you will need a high-end system to run the game at full details. But of course, we will try to optimize the game as much as we can, so that even uh, systems that are a couple uh, years old can still run it decently. And by decently, I mean running in 1080p resolution, at least at 30 or 60 FPS. We plan to have at least two different regional servers, one located in Europe and one located in the United States. Um, beyond that, you know, players will be able to host their own servers, which can be anywhere all over the world. But officially, at least initially, we'll uh, just have one in Europe and one in the United States. The game takes place in an entire solar system, which is approximately 50 to 100 uh, AU uh, radius, astronomical units. So it's going to be pretty big in terms of distance. But uh, the action will be focused around points of interest on the various planets and what we call the battlescapes, which are really the areas where the fighting is happening, like an asteroid base or a, a, a city or a factory, let's say, uh, in the atmosphere of a gas giant. So yeah, it's going to be pretty big. So we are currently aiming at uh, around 200 players, uh, at least, uh, in a single server. Now, of course, we will try, uh, depending on the hardware the server is running, uh, on the capabilities of the client to host higher battles. But 200 is the minimum we are aiming at. We currently aren't planning on having any AI bots that will participate in the actual battles. We do have plans that there will be AI-controlled ships uh, that essentially ferry resources from mining facilities back to space stations and home bases. That's how your team generates you know, credits that you can spend on upgrading ships and buying new infrastructure. But beyond that, we currently don't have any plans to provide AI for the actual combat ships. It's entirely possible that if we raise enough money, uh, you know, we could reach that point as a stretch goal. But uh, currently, we don't have plans to have AI. Yes, there will be a single player sandbox mode. This will allow you to try out new weapons and ship combinations and explore the solar system on your own. However, there won't be any sort of cohesive campaign or story mode. Yes, all small fighter craft, uh, corvettes and whatnot, they will all have first person cockpits. The large capital ships, however, will be controlled from the third person.
at the moment we have not really uh, determined that yet and we will figure that out during playtesting. No, we are not planning on doing that. Uh, we could or you could implement it in a mod. Uh, but otherwise, this poses too many uh, balance problems. Resources in Battlescape will be generated from mining facilities. Mining facilities can be manufactured by a team. At the beginning of the game, each team will start with a predetermined number of mining facilities. However, your teammates can build out additional infrastructure as the game progresses. Every interval, which will largely be determined by playtesting, you know, a mining facility will spawn some number of ships, which will bring essentially the results of the mining to your home base. And this will generate some number of credits for your team. And these credits you can use to produce additional mining facilities, buy new ships and weapons, and or just hoard them if you would like. Playtesting will determine this uh, because it can be abused by your uh, griefers. Uh, however, we are currently planning on supporting it as a viable last ditch tactic. Yes, three corporations are fighting for control of a solar system. It has an Earth-like planet in it, which makes it a particularly precious resource, and they are fighting for control so that they can improve their corporate bottom line. That's a great question. You know, it's been very challenging for us as an independent studio. Everyone's primarily working in their spare time across many different time zones. Coordinating meetings, coordinating when people have time to work on various aspects of our technology in the game has been very difficult for us, but you know, we've really come together and I'm really proud of many of the different team members as everyone takes time out of their busy schedules to devote to this project, you know, to show up to meetings. You know, we spend a lot of time particularly on weekends. And so instead of being out with their girlfriends, their wives, their family, you know, we're sitting in Skype usually having a chat about a specific game system or some bug. And it's, it's been a lot of work, but everyone's really yeah. pulled through for you know, a long period of time. And we're very proud of the fact that we found these people from all over the world, primarily through the internet, and uh, you know, have come together to produce something so impressive. We have built our engine uh, in a very generic way to be reusable uh, with a wide range of games on uh, environments. Uh, now we have been focusing uh, more, the most on space games, but uh, there is a wide range of kind of games uh, you know that you can do with the Inova engine. Uh, for example, you can do uh, racing games, uh, first-person shooter games, uh, all kind of games. RTS. Real-time strategy games, yeah, exactly. RPG. I mean, the sky uh, is really the limit. Yes, uh, the Planet Engine uh, is one of the most important piece of technology of the engine. But uh, you can build a game uh, even without it, if you are not interested in the Planet Engine. We're huge proponents of modding, actually. We are solicited quite frequently by indies and hobbyists who would like to use our technology for their own projects. and. The first version of our technology that we make available, we would actually like to do through Infinity Battlescape. We would like to release an SDK allowing our community to mod the game and um, you know, explore their own creativity, which hopefully at some point in the future we can leverage into an actual standalone public SDK that we can distribute to indies and hobbyists. So we're a huge fan of modding and we can't wait to see you know, the, what people in our community produce. There's so much energy and creativity, um, and with the unique capabilities of our tech, you know, we have big ambitions, and uh, we expect people are going to produce some really cool stuff that we haven't even thought of. For starters, we have this incredibly unique technology, the Inove engine that we've built that allows us to do these seamless planetary transitions. And what that means is you can be sitting out in outer space and you can fly down to the surface of a planet with no loading screens whatsoever. Yeah, no invisible barriers or anything. You will not be like, you know, stopped magically uh, in space <laughs> by, you don't know, there are some games who really block you yeah. <laughs> when you try to go in some directions. but. Here it's not the case, you can really go and fly everywhere. Yeah. 
And we're trying to recapture the cinematic feel of kind of some of your most popular movies, Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, where you have these epic space battles, these big ships shooting at each other as these little ships are zooming all in and around, and yeah. it's just got this kind of adrenaline-driven, really chaotic feel to it. And our goal is to recapture that in Battlescape. And not only recapture that, but recapture it with a lot of players. Yeah, we want to have battles that are really uh, hundreds of players versus hundreds of other players. We are not excited not at excited. all. Yeah. No, no, no this is this is a terrible yeah, it's event. Really, yeah, yeah, we should we should just quit. No, we're very excited. Oh, yeah. I wish I could convey. Finally, of these years of work, will uh, pay off. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's been a long road, but we're incredibly excited to finally bring this experience to everyone.